Cadence of Conflict, Asia, July 31, 2017. Xi Jinping told his military the same thing China has been telling its people for decades. The world needs us, our military, our might, and our expansion. Otherwise, there can be no peace. This proves a static ethic. From this perspective, China wants the U.S. to remain calm and not take action in North Korea. Meanwhile, South Korea's president wants the U.S. to wait while he negotiates with the North for safety in the U.S. South Korean people want much the same thing Filipinos want, non-dependence. South Korea's president, South Korea's people, and China all want the U.S. to get out. Interestingly, they share this sentiment with North Korea. The world is full of political ideologies that claim half of one thing and do half of another. The best chance at victory is to simply stay home and do good work there. In that, the South Korean people stand the greatest chance of victory. Yet, the United States stands the greatest chance of taking action for two reasons. The U.S. is being threatened more than any other, and the U.S. is willing to take action more than any other. If the U.S. takes out the North, they can leave, and the South Koreans will get what they want. But things rarely happen as they should. Only two things are foreseeable. Conflict and Korean unification. All the rest is conjecture. And that's the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.